Increasing your lifespan through non-invasive or non-experimental means has been previously thought impossible, but researchers have now found a way of doing just that in a way that's accessible to almost every person regardless or age or gender. This is usually done to reach what some people consider to be the longevity escape velocity. A term describing the process in which you turn your age backwards faster than you age in the first place. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show and explain to you how to massively increase your maximum age or at the very least, drastically increase your health span and quality of life into your old age, and finally, what this could mean for our society. According to some aging specialists, the key to long life is simple. Eat less. Decades of studies have proven that limiting calories modestly, without any additional intervention, enhances healthy longevity in flies, worms, and mice. However, bring up calorie restriction, or CR, in humans at any longevity forum, and you'll spark a heated argument between ardent supporters and vehement detractors. The rationale for this is likewise straightforward. We only have hypotheses because humans lack sufficient facts. It is incredibly difficult to conduct a study requiring patients to continually reduce their calorie intake in a controlled manner. After all, few people desire to stick to a rigorous diet all the time. And even if the tactic succeeds, it's difficult to understand why. However, if we can get an understanding of the biological foundations of calorie restriction, we may be able to intentionally activate molecular programs that promote lifespan while inhibiting those that are harmful to a healthy long life calorie enters the picture. The comprehensive assessment of long-term effects of reducing energy intake trial is the first controlled investigation of CR in the general population. The experiment, led by investigators from Yale University and Pennington Biomedical Research, discovered that decreasing calories by 14% over two years, about one muffin fewer each day, provided various health advantages known to counteract aging. The fountain of youth appeared to be caused by a single protein at the crossroads of metabolism and immunity, which fell drastically after dieting. Two years of mild calorie restriction reconfigured the pathways in fat cells that help govern the way mitochondria create energy, the body's anti-inflammatory responses, and maybe lifespan, research author Dr. Eric Ravusan stated. In other words, calorie restriction rewires many of the metabolic and immunological responses that extend life and improve health. The researchers took it a step further by deactivating the protein in mice. When compared to similarly aged colleagues, the rats showed less aging-associated inflammation and a more effective thymus, an organ that produces immune cells and metabolism. Doctors Timothy Rhodes and Rosalind Anderson of the University of Wisconsin-Madison, who were not involved in the work, noted, CR has been a cornerstone of aging biology for decades. However, they went on to say that, aside from lifestyle suggestions, the important is to discover out why it works. We may learn what makes us vulnerable to aging and what makes us stronger by doing so. Calorie is a substantial study, both in terms of aims and scope. The main goal is to bring reliable evidence to the long-running dispute about whether calorie restriction slows indications of aging in people. Then there's charting the holy trinity dance of calorie restriction, inflammation, and immunity. How do they tango to govern longevity? Previous research indicated that restricting calories in mice increases their risk of infection. Others, however, discovered that it decreased age-related inflammation, therefore preserving tissue function. We want to know what calorie restriction is doing to the immunological and metabolic systems, and if it is good, how can we harness the endogenous, within the body, pathways that mirror its benefits in humans? The study deviated significantly from earlier research on calorie restriction. Instead of beginning with lab animals such as flies, worms, and mice, the researchers began with 200 human volunteers. They first established the subject's baseline calorie intake over a two-week period using a stringent procedure that quantifies how much energy they take in versus how much they burn. The subjects were subsequently followed for six months with demanding scientific testing of their body composition, such as muscle versus fat. After establishing a baseline, some individuals lowered their calories by around 14% over the next two years while eating anything they wanted. Previous research in rats found that cutting calories by roughly half led in improved thymus and immunological T-cell function, as well as a decrease in the chemicals that induce inflammation. 
The researchers wondered if the same thing might be done in people without a dramatic and unsustainable reduction in calories. In a nutshell, they said yes. Using MRI, the researchers discovered that caloric restriction increased the size of the thymus in persons who reduced their calorie intake. The thymus, a little blob located between your lungs, is essential for immune function, functioning as a cradle for potent immune cells. The thymus diminishes significantly with age, rendering the elderly more susceptible to infections. According to Dixit, by the time healthy individuals reach the age of 40, around 70% of the thymus is fatty and non-functional. Caloric restriction not only preserved thymus size, but also improved its function, resulting in a considerably higher production of immunological T cells. The control group had no thymus or immunological improvement since they did not reduce calories. The notion that this organ can be revitalized is astonishing in my opinion since there is very little evidence of this happening in humans, it's very exciting that this is even possible. Aside from thymus function, the dieters had fewer fatty tires around their waists, improved insulin responses, and healthier blood arteries and hearts. Further investigation revealed that calorie restriction, something connected to metabolism, has an effect on the immune system and good lifespan. Previous research in rats demonstrated that fat cells play critical roles in inflammation and immunity. In this study, the researchers obtained samples of the individual's fat cells and meticulously regulated their gene expression to get insight into active cellular pathways. They used the screen to focus on one gene, PLA2G7, which was drastically switched down by dieting. The gene, while having a long name, is a bit of a mystery, with its biological roles unknown. The scientists discovered a hazy job for the protein produced by the gene. It may interact with fatty compounds that induce inflammation. Kneecap the gene, and it will switch off inflammation while increasing longevity. The scientists put their notion to the test by deleting PLA2G7 in mice. Surprisingly, removing this one gene significantly decreased obesity in mice fed a high-fat diet. Inflammatory markers in their blood significantly decreased, and the mice had a superior overall immunological profile. The aged mice's thymus grew into old age, with a significantly bigger mass, equivalent to around 70 years old in human age. CALERIE is one of the first studies to indicate that reducing calories by a little amount improves abilities that generally diminish with age in humans. The research, which is currently in its second phase, isn't perfect. We don't yet know the long-term effects of calorie restriction, or what happens when participants return to their usual caloric intake. Because, let's face it, it's exceedingly difficult to maintain a diet for years on end. But, more crucially, the study pioneered a novel and unconventional approach to lifespan research. We've discovered a new driver for the advantages of calorie restriction by examining a prospective treatment in people first and then exploring the why in lab animals, rather than the other way around. If, as the study concludes, the key to combating aging lies at the intersection of metabolism and the immune system in humans, Dixit believes that more, similar studies can point us to potential targets that can improve immune function, reduce inflammation, and potentially even enhance healthy lifespan. Perhaps without the need to diet. So, what is your opinion on this rather difficult but effective way of increasing your health span and lifespan in the hopes of increasing your chances of reaching the famous longevity escape velocity? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.